guys, this is BC Gaming here. How y'all doing today? I'm doing pretty good. We're here today and give y'all a quick tutorial on how to upload your creations onto the Steam Workshop and the Scrap Mechanic. By the way, guys, if you like the videos, make sure you smash the like button. Let me know what you see in the comments below, and let's get into this. Get rid of this real quick. We're gonna um uh bring my hood back. I can find it. Uh, Alt Z. There we go. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna make a quick vehicle real quick, and we'll do the whole process of uploading it to, to the uh, workshop and even updating a vehicle that you made. Let's just do this. Real, we'll just do a quick vehicle, nothing fancy. Just. Very simple, it's not symmetrical at all, <laughs> but it'll work. It drives, it functions, it goes somewhat, it goes backwards. Yeah, um, one second, should have checked that. Oh, that's okay. That I try, yeah, okay. Forward, there we go. Now it goes forward, okay. Anyways, basic vehicle, right? Nothing, all right. Put on your lift, raise up a little bit so we can get to it. Hit E, I'm gonna name it. We're gonna put stupid car. Save it now. Um, you can add before you add it to your workshop. You're going to add a, add a, a description, just a s stupid car for YouTube. No mods. Also, yeah, when you're doing these, it's a good idea to add uh, what mods you're using for your, your creations. Makes it easier for people in the workshop to um be able to use those creations. All right, uh, that. Now, what you're gonna do is you can go to uh, share. Uploading content. One day. Okay, here we are. Now, it's, it uses your description. I mean, using your title and it has your description right here. You want to go to change visibility to public. Now, it's also good if you um, um want to be able to have a bunch of creations and uh you want to ones you have you want to you know you like go ahead and upload them uh to your workshop and you can make them private for your own personal collection. This way, if you have to reinstall your game or anything like that, or you lose data, you need to go back to your workshop and re-download and re, re you know, subscribe right here. You subscribe to your own thing. And this way, it will, um, you won't have to, you'll have it. It's kind of like your own little cloud of creations. But anyway, yeah, right here, um, make sure you have these public, and you can add comments. People will, um, um, you'll have subscribe, they'll show, if you might, we'll go to the Steam here in a second, um, but it'll show your subscribers and all that stuff. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, if you want, I'm going to show you one thing real quick. If you want to update your car, for example, we'll go ahead and just uh, delete this. Here we have, you have a creation, you want to do updates to it, and you don't want to have to re-upload the same creation. This is a way you can do that. So, I'm going to pull out my paint tool. And this is for one example. You can um, yeah, pull this out. We'll build this, and now we'll paint it. Uh, let's just paint it black. Why not? Uh, make me help. Actually, there we go. Now, what, when you're doing this, you need to leave it on the lift and as the build that you updated. You know, so you just take it off the lift. This can be a whole new build. So you got to keep it on the lift. Make it all black. Why not? Black and orange looks good. Uh, paint the bearings. Nope. Okay, that's fine. Anyways, it's done. Now all you gotta do here is hit E here. Save. A creation with his name has already been uh I'm writing, yes. Now what you wanna do is hit update. It's gonna update it to the workshop. It won't be a whole new creation, it'll be it'll just be updating the uh one that's already there. This way if you do something that's a very complex build, see you may have a new pr preview. Should be the same description and the same title. 
it's a great way to uh, add up uh, updates to your your nicer, bigger bills that you want to keep changing. And that's it. Uh, that's all you gotta do there. It's very simple. And we'll go to Steam real quick, and I'll show you how um, um you can look at your your creations and see how popular they are. And uh, be right back. All right, guys, we're back. Now, what you would do once you're in Steam, go to your profile. Go down to you have uh, workshop items. And here is the new vehicle right here. But here's all the vehicles you have available. For example, we'll click on one. Uh, let's see how we're doing with the um, um the Knight Rider hatchback. It was in the last video, I believe. Three unique visitors and three subscribers. I'm not sure what the unique visitor thing means, but add three people that actually subscribe to it. Uh, comments would be right here. Go back to a more popular one. Uh, b -b let's try. Here's one from uh, Trail Makers. I might do a separate video on that and how to upload on Trail Makers. But for example, 49, 45 subscribers, one current favorite, two unique um, visitors. Not again, not sure what the unique visitor thing is. Might have to look into that. If anybody knows, you don't even comment below. But we'll get to another one here. Uh, what's my more popular one? You know, Trail Makers one. But yeah, you can look at them. See how they're doing. You can, uh, people comment on them. You can comment back. Um, see the descriptions are here. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. Um, um is that? Yeah, and you can also when you're um when you're in here, you can choose the game. I'm pretty sure. Uh, which games you want to look at? Maybe not. I thought there was a way to choose which uh creations from each game. But anyways. Yeah, guys, I um, um, hope you liked the video. It was a quick tutorial. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Smash the like button. And y'all have an awesome day.